Hello, this is an introductory video on how to use your new website. You would have been sent an email with all your login details and in that email will be a link to your website and also to your website's administration area. Okay, so when um, you get your website, if you've already sent us the content, we would have added this in for you. Okay, as you can see here, this is just an example website that's just got some dummy pages in. Um, just so we can show you this, um, the, show you a few features. Yeah. So, in your initial email, there'll be a link to your website admin area. Okay. If you click that link, it will take you to a page that looks like this. This is where you log in. Um, so just put your username and password. in there and click login. Now once you've logged in it will be take, you'll be taken to your dashboard and what I'll do is briefly um, go through the options just on a very general basic level just so you can get in, um, an idea of how to use your website. In your dashboard at the top right, top left sorry, it shows you how many blog posts you've made, how many pages you've got, how many comments have been made. Under this is uh, your contact form, um, how many times that's been completed. Over on the right hand side here it shows your website statistics. For example you got on this website I've had nine visitors in the last 30 days, seven of those being unique and 23 pages, sorry 44 pages have been viewed. And then under that is just a stats graph. So, in um, your web website admin area, to begin with, all you'll need to worry about is a couple of options. Yeah, website pages, which lists all your pages, and then the menu and the widgets. Okay. Other details and um, things we'll go through in other tutorials. Yeah. So if I go into firstly, if I go into website pages, if I click that, it will list um, all of the pages I currently have in the website. And if I go on, if I have a look at the actual website here, you can see I've got four pages um, listed in the menu. Okay, I've got five pages listed here, but one of these pages, this privacy policy, isn't in the main menu. Okay, you can easily edit any of these pages by simply hovering over the page and clicking the edit button. That will then take me to a page where the editor is and I can change the website title, sorry the page title at the top here or the content in here. Yeah, So all you do is you put your cursor in and it allows you to type away. Yeah. So if you want to make any changes just make your changes in here. Once done click the update button and that will save any changes which will then appear automatically yeah, on the front of your website. You'll notice when you're um, viewing your website you'll also see you've got a bar at the top here which, is, which allows you to do various things like add new posts or pages, edit a page. You can only see this bar when if you're logged in to the admin area and viewing the website at the same time. Okay, so if you're viewing the website and you can see this bar, don't worry, it's only because you're logged into the admin area that you can see this. Okay, so I'm just going to go back to my admin area now. What I like to do is have two tabs open. Yeah, one with the admin area and one with the website. So I can easily see what's going on. Okay, so to add a new page from any page, if you're editing one, you'll see at the top here add new, and also in the left hand menu, there's an add new option. This will allow me to add a new page. Okay, so if I click that, it will take me to a page where I can enter my website title. Okay, so I'll put in here, yeah 
I call it this is a new page now this title here is what appears here okay and also in the menu and then you can add your content so I'm just gonna just paste this repeatedly just so you get an example once you've added all your content simply click the publish button this will then save the page and it'll add it to your page list so if I go to all pages now you'll see my new page here this is a new page now it's not being added to the menu if I refresh the page it's not being added to the menu yet as this is something separate okay so you can add pages but they won't automatically be added to your website menu now if I want that page to, to appear to the public so they can view it via the menu I need to go in my admin area to menu and widgets okay and then over to menus on the left hand side here you'll see all of my pages okay so you can view if you've got lots you can view all or search but here's the most recent ones on the right hand side here is my menu structure so here you see home about us blog contact so this is the same here if I want to add this new page just put a tick in it and click add to menu okay you see it appears here now I can click save menu okay message at the top main has been updated means the main menu has been updated if I go and have a look at my website now you'll see the new pages here if I want to move this new page, say for example I want it up under the home page, all we have to do is simply drag and drop it where I want it. That will save auto, yeah, then click the save button and then refresh and the page is moved up under the home page. Okay. so that's um, the menu if ever I want to remove a page from the menu simply click the small arrow to show more options and then click the remove link and then save and that will remove that page from the menu okay so also on your website you'll see um, in the right hand column here I've got other options I like I've got a newsletter option here I've got recent blog posts and I've got um, social media follow option here now every website's different and these what these areas are called widget areas some websites may have widget areas in the footer some also may have them in the header okay this website's only got widget areas in the side column in the sidebar yeah so if you want to edit any of these areas, delete them or add new widget areas, in your admin area, all you do is go to menu and widgets and then widgets to edit these. Okay, on the right hand side here, you see sidebar and it's got my three widget areas that I've got. My newsletter, recent blog posts and follow us. The available widgets are in the left and I can drag and yeah, or I can click any of these yeah to add them into my widget area okay so for example if I want to add a new widget with my address in what I'll do is click on the visual editor widget this will let, let me add some text in so if I click that and then click add widget into the widget area I want to put I've only got one widget area sidebar if your website's got many widget areas so for example sidebar and footer you'll choose which one you want it to go in click add that's added the widget to the sidebar and opened it up for me to start adding my content so in the title I'm just gonna put contact us and I'm gonna put a telephone number and an email okay once I've added that, click save. I can close that off. So it looks, yeah. 
and then if I go back and review my page scroll down you see we've got a new um, widget here called contact us with my details in if I want to move this up so I want to put it at the top I just drag and drop yeah and that will save automatically if I refresh you see the widget area is moved to the top okay so this is a brief overview of you know the basics of how to use your website yeah how to add pages how to edit pages how to add pages to the menu how to add widget areas okay one other thing you might like to do is change the website title to do this you simply in your admin area go to settings and then to the general option and you can change the website title here okay so if I just change this to my website you can change this the subtitle here okay and then scroll down click save changes and I'll refresh that page you see the title has changed just change it back also on this page on this settings page you've got an email address here this is your main email address um, where for example if any forms you've got on the website they will automatically go to this email address any new forms you create or the initial contact form will go to this email address so just check that this is correct just click save and just check the titles changed back okay so this is a brief overview of um, how to use your website um, please check out the other tutorials for more advanced features like the newsletter etc